Hello guys, welcome. I am XOOX and welcome to Paradise actually. This is day zero. We're gonna head straight into the game. Of course, I am gonna do the single player. Already took the liberty of choosing this girl. You can't really, uh, you know, design the characters here. So just choose between uh, 12 characters that are different type of races, different uh, genders. So that's basically it. But we've chosen this girl and we're gonna head into single player. Slot one. Are you tired of constantly fleeing? Of hiding? Of struggling in a world infested by zombies? Are you exhausted? Without resources? A home? Without anyone to rely on? <laughs> Don't despair. This is dark Hang in and there. funny. You still have a chance. Join us. Join Paradise! Here in Paradise, everyone is safe and everything is secure thanks to our Zombie Guard technology. What can go wrong, it's a right? Haven of peace where zombies are under our control. Especially this Here, type of overjoyous, no we found the solution kind of mentality. You. It's just yes, paying to go wrong. Right. It's incredible! Thanks to our zombie guard technology, zombies have become genuine bodyguards that serve you. Thousands of acres where the living are back in control and existing in harmony, far <laughs> from the pandemic. Thanks to this groundbreaking technology, stores, security. Oh yeah, guards, make them cups as well. Hospitals, Great idea. Industry, movie theaters, a safe place for everyone where men, women, and children have nothing more to fear from outside zombies. You don't need money, a title, or diploma to get your own zombie guard. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Everyone is welcome in yeah. paradise. Everyone is welcome. Everyone Duty is welcome. burnout. Safe. <laughs> White noise. Great. A decade of fighting the living dead. Well, <laughs> guess here we are. Paradise. I guess somebody lied. Okay. Oh, so we can already begin to pick up stuff. Just gonna scour here just fast, see if there's anything interesting. Actually, it seems like I'm controlling entirely with the uh, keyboard right now. Cross the pit, uh, speak with the warden. Okay, so we already got some zombie slaves. Is this the warden? Ah, I could watch them all day. Don't even need to fetch wood. They feed the generator all by themselves. No more worrying about electricity. Maybe I could teach them to cultivate my veggie garden. I mean, this guy, he almost looks oh, like he's about to turn sorry. himself. Didn't see you there. Are you wanting to move in here? Uh, wait, uh, hold up. What am I supposed to do? No one ever wants to move in here. Uh, uh, yes, the bylaws. Yes, that's it. Rule number one of the Paradise Bylaws. To gain authorization to move in, you must have a zombot. No zombot. one should move around in paradise Somebody without zombot's love. protection. Huh. So before anything else, find a zombot. Go see Bob. He supplied mine. Okay, open close map is M. We don't die, find Bob. I guess Bob is over here. So we can it's active, I guess. Okay, so the uh, whoops viewport. My point is locked. It's been a long time since I played isometric games, so bear with me. I gotta get used to that again. Uh, let's see if we can make it to Bob without. Oh, we already got some trouble here, I guess. Thank God we got a stick. Did we just go whack him? Wow, okay, I can see this going completely wrong already. We got something 
broken hacking, hacking helmet. I guess so, you gotta kind of find stuff and repair it as well to make it useful. Overturn bus. Oh, look at this, a chest. Bob's Archives P-48-3, the emotional support zombot. <laughs> Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Yeah. Equip your zombot with a saddle, then order it to heal you while in combat and to collect items while out of combat. Ah, okay, yeah, so you gotta complete the menu here, you can choose what they're doing. That's nice. And that's it! A zombie to heal you! Transport so they have a saddle, that's, does that mean we can actually ride them? This is mounts. <laughs> I hope we can dress them up also, that would be funny. Oh, did I just do it again? I'm going to skip this. I just thought I could actually open this chest. But I can't. I guess it's just a table, actually. Okay, so nothing here. Oh, leaves. So are there any out of bounds here? So we can not get lost. Okay. Let, let's just stick to uh, finding Bob. And not die. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'm not actually able to go up to Bob's without whacking away. So swing away. Wow. Okay, so we can kind of AOE them a little bit. She's just flailing around here. <laughs> oh. I can actually take quite a lot, can I? Uh, how much? 36 points of health I lost for that. Fly away! I'm guessing we're gonna need all this stuff. So I might as well take it. Oh, we got one more item here. What's that? Not a hacking helmet. I guess we can maybe combine those into a proper one. Oh, this is a big guy. He seems a bit lost. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's one way to do it. Very effective. Is this Bob's? Bob's Field Laboratory. Great. Cute zombies waving us hello. <laughs> oh, hey! You're new here, right? <laughs> I'm Bob. I'm the one who got the Zombot technology back up and running. The zombie hacking. You want Zombot? I can't give you mine. I need them too much. So, you should capture your own. Grab a broken helmet from one of the malfunctioning oh Zombots in front of my camp. Repair it and force it onto the head of a wild zombie. Haha! <laughs> if it stops wanting to eat you, it's worked! If not, uh, run! <laughs> Well, thanks, Bob. Okay, so we got to craft, craft a hacking helmet. Okay. Uh, so, oh, open the inventory with I, and then we we'll go to craft. Okay, so just want to check the inventory out here. We got miscellaneous quest items and everything. We got options to put stuff on. And then I guess, oh yeah, let's have a, a stop sign over it so we can't make it, but we can make this one. Craft. And we've got arrows. What's the difference here? Crossbow and normal. We've got air pistol pellets. Perfect for shooting balloons at fun fair or for defending yourself from demanding it undead. Okay. Bandage. Well, I got a feeling it would be useful to make one of these, at least one. So. Approach a zombie that you have knocked down and press F to put a hacking helmet on his head. Okay, will do. Any more here we can take from Bob's camp without him getting mad? Just want to borrow stuff, Bob, but don't want to steal. What's this over here? Oh, that's nothing. Okay, I guess we got it. Uh... Okay, you can stop that now. So. Can actually can I leave stop doing that? Why 
What's she doing? No, oh, there we go. I need to press E. Whoops. Ah. Oh. Okay, so a little, little bit of latency. No, she's not dead. Oh, it's not dead. I think it's a she, isn't it? Hello there. Oh, long haired guy. Who knows? Speak with Bob. But that's our friend now, I guess. And he's blue. I wonder if that means anything. Well, 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 not bad, right? This zombot will follow you everywhere, but if you want to give it precise orders, you'll need to use the tech I developed. You'll be my guinea pig. <laughs> Thank you. Take this antenna, attach Sounds it to very your safe. backpack. <laughs> With this, you'll have much finer control over your zombot. Oh, feel free to give it a try. Zombie hacking was quite buggy until we started working on it, uh, me and my buddies. I know what I'm doing, trust me. Uh, this thing probably won't explode. Probably being the word. <laughs> okay, talk to the warden and we got that on now. So, hover over a target with the mouse and order your zombot to attack with Q. Oh, okay, so over the target, not the bot. So let's see, let's try this guy. He runs, goes crazy. Wow, he's actually faster at killing than I am. Zombie target. Oh, I didn't press. Are you just free roaming now? What's that about? I might as well help her so she doesn't have to do all the work. Don't want to lose her too fast. Oh, scrap. Let's take scrap. Well, oh, we're actually heading down to the warden again. Oh, sorry. I got that. Miss Zombie. Oh. <laughs> okay. What's that? Another broken hacking helmet? I'm going the right way. I think I am. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Mr. Warden. I think we did well. Okay, we did not do well enough, I guess. Oh no! Wild zombies have got in! They, they, they... Ah, not again! Oh, we got our first skill point. Level up four. Right. Oh, oh, we're not done yet. Oh, they're trying to destroy the equipment, or it seems like they are. I guess we gotta find a proper name for this zombie girl. So, if any of you have any suggestions, feel free to put them down in the uh, comments, and I'll uh, we'll decide which one is gonna be. Um. Yeah, and you know, maybe throw likes on them as well. Then we're gonna choose something, something named that way. Zombots are down, and the gate won't close without electricity. Okay, collect some wood. Uh, we're gonna collect all this wood then. Wow, it's been so long since I played this style. It's actually kind of invigorating doing it again. It's not so much to. It's much easier to you know keep focus on. Press the, button. Press the button. Close the gate. Where? We can't let any other wild zombies Press get in. Oh, I totally agree. Ah, oh, they need a higher sun factor. Bring those guys. Okay. Return to the warden. Just gonna pick up a few items here. Oh, she's helping. Huh. Warden, give me some news. One less. Well, that'll teach me to forget to close the gate. Thankfully, the pit keeps most wild zombies out of paradise. And you found a zombot? Great! Here are the plans <laughs> for building your camp. You need to go to the other side of the river, to the wild forest. 
Be careful out there. Why do There's we have to do no that? Why can't we just stay here? And the zombots are out of control. What the you heck? find yourself a weapon. Don't look at me like that. I can't do the cleaning as And well look at all the stuff he's collecting. He, he's like uh, really hoarded some stuff. Not sharing, I'm guessing. The area. Okay. Permit to unalive. Find Petro. Okay, let's just check the map again. So we got someone over here named Petro. That's, it's actually quite readable, this map. Which I like a lot. I don't know. Maybe we should check actually if encumberment is a thing in this game. Let's see, inventory. Do we have weight? What's this? Oh, yeah, we, there is a weight symbol here, right? Oh, it's sorting. Okay. Three out of 100. So I guess it, there is a encumberment system going. Well, it's not a problem yet, so no worries. We're gonna find Pedro. Hopefully, without too much fuss. Maybe actually, let's see if we can make some better weapons now. We can. Oh, we can make a hack and also connect two zombies, maybe? Let's make one more. I wanna see if we can get one more guy. What's this? Oh, we can't make it yet. But we can make this. Oh yeah, okay. I, I totally didn't notice down here on the left there's a quick menu, so that's probably uh, good to familiarize yourself with. Swans. It's, oh, we can attack those as well. <laughs> See, I wanna try and get this guy. Oh, okay, so we couldn't... Uh, <laughs> Not everyone we can kind of take. Uh, yeah, okay. It doesn't help that uh, unnamed zombie lady has uh, decided to finish them off all. Everyone, can you like go here? Oh, she's very keen on defending. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe I can't have two yet. Maybe it's something you kind of grow into with the higher level. Oh, and we got a skill point, didn't we, late, early on? Maybe I should actually try and set that. New zombie gear unlocked. Zombie target. Whoa, look at this guy. Okay, he wasn't too bad. We got a saddle. Or, no, it, oh, it had a saddle. Okay, got another skill point. Guess we're gonna. Oh, so skill point, skill point, skill. Here we go. So we got hacking, we got combat, we got survival. Wow. Rise and walk. Allows you to arrive your KO'd sunbots. It's a it's a revive sunbot and undead undead. <laughs> so station. Then we got some attack speed. The Surter. Gold Digger. Go be here, go home. It's an issue servant, so we can increase the survivability. And this is apparently higher levels, right? Oh, points. Field Surgery. There's a lot to get into here. Uh, still, we're not going into combat yet. What's this? Increases your health points. You need some kind of failsafe in case you don't win every time. 50% scraps gained during recycling. Deep breath. Nurse. Okay. Hmm. I mean, at the moment, it seems like we are doing. We're doing most of the damage, right? Maybe go crazy on damage here. We can always reset later, it seems. So, good. Because since we're doing most of the working so far, I mean, maybe it's a good idea that we're pretty good. Pedro! How did you manage to make <laughs> it here? You're looking for a weapon? Good timing. My uh, Zombots have started attacking everything that moves, including me. Is that pink I need someone to... Teach them some manners. I'll let you take their weapons if you finish them off. 
Thank you, Pedro. Sounds completely safe and uh, no problem at all. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head into this game, I guess. Wow. Why did you turn around? Oh, it's those air pellet pistols. Oh, careful now. Oh, she died. I guess we need to use that name you suggested for uh, <laughs> another zombie lady. Dirty rotten undead. Destroy the pylon, kiddo. I'm done with Destroy that. Destroy the pylon, kiddo. Newfangled technology. Uh, okay, let's see. I guess we can. Can we move the uh, gun? Okay. Oh, we just flip it around. Okay. And the shots. We got no shots. Or not, but we could make some, couldn't we? Yeah, we got these. Oh, we got a lot. Whoa. They aren't exactly precise. Oh, a little bit they are. Just gonna. What? Flying zombies? What the heck? So that's the pylon he was talking about. That's shooting them out, or. Let's go and have a look, because it seems like this is gonna be, they're gonna be shooting out forever if we don't destroy that. Ah, bot little break. P-21-1, the high score zombot. High score? Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Now? Equip your zombot with a zombie target and an air pistol. Then order it to use its weapon while in combat. Uh huh. Use. And that's it! While the zombies try to hit the bullseye, it's your zombot who's striping them! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Gangster style. Great. Okay. Well, we still gotta find a new one. Let's uh, head over here to the pylon. Was it this one here? Activate. Oh, we yeah. Oh, we got a hold. Interact. Forest sensor, forest entrance. What's, is this the target? Fast travel. Oh, we can fast travel. I hope I can travel back because I feel like I'm supposed to. Well, revolting my revolt. Where's the uh, quest target? Uh, oh, timbers. Or center. I mean, is it that one? Are we supposed to go there? I guess we're gonna, I think, I have a feeling that that red mark is the target, so we gotta move. Oops, where's my map button? I think we gotta move to that point, right? Whoa. Reload, lady. Yes, it's... Oh, it's all about... Oh my god, I'm dying. So, these bandages are actually very much needed. I suggest moving a lot with these guys. Wow. Got so many air pistols now. I, oh, capture. Well, we got another lady here. So, how to open her here? We gotta put this on. We're gonna give her a gun. We're gonna use and will not out in combat. She is gonna heal. 
Flee, use, throw. Oh, let's keep her at the collector. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Okay, I think this way, right? So we can kind of move over to that uh, red target. And she is following us. Destroy the pylon. That's a bro. That was a weird one. Whoa! Sneaky bastards. Well, what, what she, did she die? Oh, she didn't. <laughs> oh, we can, we can also hide, actually. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Big guy. No drops. We got a tape or piece of tape. Good feather and goose meat. That's probably good. Maybe we should actually make some. I don't know. Almost dying. I just realized. We're gonna quickly make a couple of these. Now, how much was that? That was like sixty, right? We can see now, yeah, 60 with a bandage. Okay. I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction. Can we actually just choose the quests? Where is it? Because to me, it looks like there should be like this uh, signature, right? But there's not. What if we go closer? Broken Mega Hub. Is that this one? What is this? Oops. Drink? Don't see any change. Okay, what if we go in here? Is that, oh, that's kind of a invisible border. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it wasn't over here with the red uh, clamps or the emphases. But destroy the pylon. Whoops. Oh. She's almost more precise than me. Reload, reload, reload. Wow, there's so many here now. I wonder where they're coming from. So is it this one actually? Did I just... What? Attack? Ah, and we went so far around, right? It's basically just this one. Okay. Yeah, we already did that. Speak with Petro. Okay, so we could just have stayed and shut that instead. Oh, uh, well. Live and learn. Oh. Okay, Pedro, we did Thank do it, you, didn't kiddo. we? Thank you, kiddo. I didn't have enough bullets to finish him off, but otherwise I most certainly would have. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. This cataract won't stop me hitting the bullseye. Anyway, uh, can I sign you an autograph? For your trouble? What? What? <laughs> You've never heard of me? I'm the most famous, the most celebrated, and the sharpest of all sharp shooters in the history of circus. Clearly looks you unimpressed. <laughs> I'm Pedro the Great. Because I like you. Uh, here's a little tip from Uncle Pedro. Yeah. Zombies start to swarm when you try to run away. It's best to take them out right away. If you run, you're as good as done. A quick punch, and you won't be lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plank? Okay. Repair a bridge. Uh, well, I guess we that's where we went before, right? So we can go back there. That would be the obvious choice. 
Yeah, well, we already did that. We, she got this one. So, we're gonna stick to that. But I would like to get more bandages if we can. We can make two. What else can we make? Okay, let's try and divide out next. And we got here weaponry. We got 13 shots left. Let's make a few more here. And then we got consumables. We got. Still can't make this. These aren't available yet. So I guess that's still just it. Set free. No, we're not gonna set her free. What? Oh, we can actually choose to look. Maybe I'm gonna make it a bit functional. Okay, let's go through this and you guys choose which one should it be. So if we go to... Okay, we start 24 with the horse. Should we choose 23? That was Freddy Krueger, wasn't it? 22. Nice llama. Oh, a unicorn. Oh my god, this guy. I don't know what that is. Is that a vest? Whoops. Yeah, 20 is a vest. 19 is a cook's or chef's hat. Or is that an ice cream hat? Kinda. Then we got 18. Oh yeah. That's a Mexican uh, wrestler kinda look. A little hood. Oh, that's like that the tablet game, isn't it? Where you can put that poor guy through a lot of trouble or where's it from you tell me vacation buddy here and that's the trailer head this looks crazy wow that's very uh, visible that's just another version that's a <laughs> harlequin kind of look and with a pink uh, purple and a rainbow then we got the uh, cap no cap, dark cap, yellow cap, green cap, sand cap, and this crazy look. I don't know what that is or what it should be called. Until you choose, let's go with the... Uh, let's go to cap. What's this? Oh, that's his clothes, so we can actually go through a lot here as well. Colors. Should we choose something like this contrasty to the green background? Red makes sense. So until you choose, this is his look. Or her look. I'm not really sure if we have a girl or a man. I think it's a man now. Good. Or woman. It's probably the right word, right? So no one gets offended. Hey, repair. We gotta get three planks. You can make this yourself. Pirates love them. <laughs> you can make this yourself. Okay, now we gotta go to the craft. Oh, that's why we could do that. Okay, one, two. We have three now, right? No, we just learn to make them. And how many ropes? Two. One, two. Confirm. Well, that was easy. Wild forest. So that's where the warden actually told us to go set up camp. Oops. Hang on a moment. Again. Let's go pick up all the stuff they dropped. Buckets. Metal pieces, metal tube. And different stuff here. So what are we inclined to do here? Oh actually we can go up north or we can go east here. I'm kinda intrigued by this little narrow road. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Ouch! That was shotgun. I guess that's also quite useful, right? Oh yeah, we gotta kill that. So we don't have trouble with more spawns, I guess. 
Okay, let's uh, have a look at that pub gun. Oh, we have so many guns. Can we destroy them? Oh, disassemble. Great. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Uh, where's the... There we go. But do we have any weapons for that? Or oh, ammo? 21. So I guess that uses uh, the same pellets or... Maybe? What? Oh wow. That was kinda scary. <laughs> oh, very useful for crowds. And very useful close up, of course. Oh my god. I'm being captured! <laughs> oh no, run away! Oh, I'm out of I'm out of ammo. I actually think my zombie died, didn't it? Oh my god. I gotta get the, that, uh... Trumpet lady. No, 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 no. Run away! <laughs> oh my god. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die yet. Get up, get up, get up. That's what you get treating me this way. Amazing what you can do with a stick. Oh my god. Oh, they will chase me a long time, I guess. Whoop. Oh, I didn't finish the... No, run! Stop! Stop fighting! <laughs> oh, she's out of breath. We really gotta... Get a bit away here. And then change. Equip. What? Oh no, because we don't have any bullets. And I changed the wrong weapon. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so what happens now? I guess I do wish to spawn nearby. Do we have to... Do we have to corpse run or... Okay, we get all our ammo and all, all our stuff. Well, okay. I even think in disassemble these guys here. Because why have that many? And we get a lot of scrap for it, it seems. Oh my god. I feel we need uh, vengeance for that. And then hopefully we can soon set up a camp place. Uh, there we go. Whoops. This is that. I mean, you can always argue why pick up all those guns, but you get a lot of scrap for this, and I'm guessing we're probably going to be using a lot of that. So, and what are we making bullets of? We're making it out of scrap. So, it makes sense to get it, right? There we go. So, now let's see. I mean, the shotgun is actually, a punk gun is actually very nice for those groups or swarms. I also feel like the stick is very useful for panic situations when you can't reload. Uh, there we go. Flip that around, reload. Okay, so we're stuck at Bob's here. The only issue with this one is actually that it spins the bullets really fast. So it does not make sense to use it against a single guy, for example. So let's for now just uh, use this one as weapon number one. Oh, capture. Oh, we don't have any, uh, we need to make a hacking helmet, right? Come here, dear friend. And he has a gun already? That's nice. He's basically uh, the same guy we just lost. That's, that's uh, 
That was easy. Okay, let's get back. Oh, maybe this time I should get the bandages ready, right? We have no leaves. So let's go find some leaves, can we? Are there a surplus of leaves here? We're in a forest, but there are no leaves. It's one of those types of forests without. Please don't leave me alone. Uh, old tire. Oh, that's all the stuff they dropped the other. What are you doing? <laughs> Silly. Little zombie. I said back the way. And then kill the trumpet guys. Oh, what's this? Oh, pistol. Okay, I did not think that through at all. What the heck? Oh my god, that's embarrassing. I totally thought I had it. Okay, fast forward. Um, can we have a, a word just a minute? Because this is really silly. <laughs> yes, now I will punish you all, hopefully. That was a lot of better. Now let's get the trumpet, guys. This is not as easy as it looks, actually. <laughs> Don't you hit me with that trumpet. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> His final act was just to use the trumpet. Ooh. Okay, let's turn around. Nope, do not stop. Sometimes she makes some uh, interesting choices in the way she's uh, facing. It's not that. Okay, that makes no sense at all. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta dash. Wow. Oh, it was a mouse, of course. Wow. I'm slowly learning that you actually have to uh, consider where your mouth is, a uh, mouse is moving. Because she aims at the point of the mouse. I mean, do we need to kill the tower first? Maybe we actually do, don't we? If 
got a feeling that we need to kill the tower. Oh, come on. Tower's gone. So am I. But now we've got the tower, so at least they won't be spawning again, I think. I... do you agree? <laughs> Okay, so I guess because we destroyed the tower, these guys stopped using trumpets, so that's good. But they have helmets, so I'm guessing that is keeping them alive more easily. I think that was all, wasn't it? So does that mean we can claim this spot now? I think it does, actually. Let's see. Oh, we got a lot of trumpets here. Good. Find a source of wood and gather resources from pylons make some planks so source of wood let's go here oh we actually have to go here so we can uh, start building and this is oh that's also a source of wood so let's grab the nearest <laughs> the music i've only just noticed it notices the <laughs> punk rock theme going on oh come on wow Okay. Um, fast forward. And maybe we should actually have a look at the skill points now again because we got uh, we got this going. Got a lot of skill points. Stamina regen. I mean, maybe beast is a good idea. Wow, they are sticking me all. Oh, we've got another tower here, a pylon. Destroy this, otherwise they're gonna keep coming. There we go. Oh, lots of stuff. Oh man, is that it? I think that's it. Woo wee! <laughs> oh, there has to be a pile on here. How many shots left? Not many. Gotta find it. We gotta destroy it. Yep, there it is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So what do we need? We need five metal plates and then we need to make some planks. A zombie goose? That's a bit... Oh my god. I mean, this is where we need the shotgun, right? Uh, where is it? Equip and craft bullets, please, fast. Apparently it's very hard to kill a goose with a stick. And apparently, geese are full of scrap metal. Squirrel. S Q V R W I R L. Squirrel. The zombot bug. <laughs> Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with anti-projectile armor and an air pump gun. Oh. Easy. Excellent. Body armor. Enable the use, intimidate, and flee commands while in combat. Understood. Switch to expert mode to use the modules. Assign the high life module to the intimidate what? command and the diminished life module to the flee command. <laughs> wow. And that's it! This zombot will intimidate its enemies and will flee if it takes a beating like the big coward that it is. Ah, that's clever. Right? So... Oh, I got some stuff. Did, did he just die while will he watch the movie? Let's hope this is a lot of scrap. I 
I guess you're probably going to comment, why didn't you finish that guy instead? And you're totally right. Save ammo instead. That's a lot of stone. What is this shiny thing here? Oh! Oh, we better get this destroyed now, right? Holy crap! All metal tube? No, not, apparently not. Equip! Well, we got a bat. Then we can finish that pylon. Metal plate! Come on, bat. And I can't take any of you. That's disappointing. Oh, stone. Nothing in here. This is just a dead end. Yeah. Oh, we got a shooter. Oh, we got several shooters. Ouch, that was not good. Oh no. Come on, whack that. Whack it. There we go. <laughs> I sacrificed myself for the greater good. Where were we? Oh, there's a pylon here. Good. No, 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 no. Total panic move there. Get the loot, get the loot. <laughs> Get up again, please. Whoa. Oh, they have armor on. But they're very sensitive to <laughs> bad attacks. Bad attack. So we can actually ride him. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Oh, let's give it a go. You want to see it, right? <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, yeah, okay. I got wiped off, so, but I was also thinking, oh shit. That maybe wasn't so good idea in this instance. Don't you touch my friend! I think I saw someone over here, didn't I? Oh, there he is. Oh, there's a pylon as well. Let's whack this. Kind of switch up the attacks a little bit so you can get some peace to whack the pylon. There we go. Okay, let's make planks. See where that takes us. Crafting planks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Build the shelter. Build the weapons workshop. Build the wood generator. Okay. Do we need to do it in a specific spot? I guess we don't, but it seems like a reasonable thing to do. Either we have to make it out here in the wilds. I mean, there's a login area down there, so it would, it would make sense to go down there, right? I am guessing. Oh. Right now, I want all the loot I can get. Oh, wood cutting area. So that counts as well. We could basically do it here, but I'm not sure 
if it's safe. I mean, no, no place is safe, I guess. <laughs> uh, but it would be nice to have that kind of easy to defend kind of area. And that place looks a bit more easy to defend. I guess we are ready. Build a shelter, build a workbench, workshop, build a wood generator. Crafting. Good. Oh, we have to make a chest as well, can we? No, we can't. Buildings. Shelter. We need lots of nails. We have we have all. So we can do that. Wow, look at this. Okay. Uh okay, so it has to be green, of course. So what what makes it green? Can we like rotate it? It cannot rotate. Uh, oh, there was a little bit of green here, wasn't there? Nice. Now we need to build a weapons workshop. And that one is... There's a wood you know, there's a weapons workshop. It's very picky. Like so. I hope... I have no idea if this is a good idea to so spread it out like this. And then the wood generator, right? Uh, this is kind of going in the center because that's going to supply power to the base. And there was a spot here. Power up the generator. Build a wood generator. Oh, power up the generator. We're going to open it, I guess. Build a pylon in a wood cutting area. So that's over here. So, pylon, 200 watts, we have just enough. But does that need to be near the generator? I mean, does it have, oh, is this the area they're gonna um, be cutting, I guess. Let's put it here. Figure. Oh, you can choose a number of zombies, pylon radius. You can actually make it wider. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, two zombies? And we can give them weapons. We don't need that, I guess. But we can give them armor or targets. <laughs> ah, lovely. So they can just spawn in. Well, guys. I think we got a lot of fun out of this, and I think between Nightingale and Shrouded and No Man's Sky, this is a game that could keep me occupied a little bit, and I think I'm gonna be making our some more videos with this. I think it's quite funny, quite entertaining. It's a fresh, uh, fresh of fresh air uh, compared to the other games I've been playing. So yeah, well I hope you enjoyed. Please come back for the next video. Let's keep the fun going. Thanks for stopping by. See you again in the next one. Bye.